There once was a boy with a sacred mission. The Bible gave no recognition. Christians don't want you to know anything about him. But I have here the unedited text that describes the life of the homosex and Jesus' chosen 13th Apostle Travis. <laughs> it says here, Apostles went fishing all the time, out on the water drinking wine. Travis would cringe when a fish would come too near him. Surrounded by men, he felt truly blessed. They called him Travis the well-dressed, who invented the braided sandal. Apostle Travis. <laughs> Judas kissed Jesus, and then he was gone. By this, Travis got a little turned on. He dreamed of the day when that would happen to him. Now he wasn't a fan of being betrayed Unless there was a chance he might get laid Oh, where was that snake to tempt Apostle Travis? When those boys got under his skin He confided in Mary Magdalene Jerusalem's answer to a fag hack for him <laughs> Now Mary had been around the block Her nickname was the Queen of the Men But the only man who listened Apostle Travis Guys would tease him all the time. To ignore his love was the greater crime. Pages were torn from their diaries, written for him. They were jealous because Jesus had a crush. They hold hands and the devil blush. And when they got married, he became Travis Christ. <laughs> if you still do not believe our story, why don't you take some inventory? Studies show that one in ten people are gay. We're everywhere, no sight unseen, so whether it was 12 or 13, in every story lives 